Hey guys, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Right now, what you're about to watch is little story, little journey on to the making of my EP, Invest in Me, now available on iTunes. So the first song we're going to talk about is the actual single, Invest in Me. So the Invest in Me recording process and writing happened about, I would say, today, about two years ago. Uh, I was in San Diego on a trip and I was really just thinking about like finances because I was inter I was about to interview with Wells Fargo actually when I was writing this song so I was thinking about investments and money and why haven't I ever heard a song on the radio about love that's in the sense of money during the process of the single release we were planned and scheduled to shoot a video, but I couldn't get the money for it, and I put it on the back burner and just kind of let it fizzle out, and no one really asked about it for a little while, so I didn't really push anything, but then I started getting email after email about it. When's the video coming out? We really want to see something from it. We want to see this visual art that you were talking about doing and it really inspired me to start this whole process of EP and campaign, fundraiser campaign to shoot the video because I am completely self-funded so I'm putting everything that I make that I have extra to make a video for it and the song really just talks to everyone, it, it it's relatable and it puts a scenario of love as investments. Like, it's talking about love, like it's talking about money, you know? And everyone wants someone to invest love into them. I, I recorded a demo, sent it to one of my best producers, um, Insane P, which he's outside, he's located in Philly. And as soon as, as soon as he got it, he was like, Jay, this is dope as shit. You have to come record it with me. So two months later, I'm in Philly. I'm recording it. And during the process, we had no, no beat to start with. So we literally made the production behind it in the studio. Let's go. This has happened too many times before. I gave you all me and got nothing more. Then I kiss a few dates I wonder what I do to make things go wrong But now I'm tired and now I'm hurt I gotta leave and never come back again Again Cause I'm trying my best So the next song we're going to talk about is Runaway off the Invest in Me single EP Runaway is one of my favorite songs I've ever written. When I was going through the process of writing the song, I wanted to really be able to relate to everyone. We all have problems, and sometimes they get the best of us, and we just want to escape from our reality. And really, that's what this song was for me. This was an escape, and it, it had a lot to do with the fact that my family lives so far away, all my friends are so far away and I never have time to fly out to see them or to even hang out with them here and it's hard to maintain relationships when you have something that you're so focused on that it's this this is what I want for my life my music is what I want to be able to interact with you guys like I'm doing right now is what I need and Sometimes I just need to run away from all my problems and this is what I wrote, that's what I wrote this song about. I just want, I wanna run away I just want, I wanna run away Run away, run away, run away I just wanna run away
Without Me is basically a song about someone you love, a relationship, let's say, your boyfriend or your girlfriend, whatever, and you guys are having, you're having issues. Like, we all have issues in relationships that nobody's perfect. No relationship is perfect. It's a love and a breakup song. I know that's kind of, like, different for people, because you either hear one or the other, but that's truly, in a sense, what it is, because it's talking about how you love someone and you're gonna let them be free to move on because you feel that that's what they want. My, my own relationship, to be quite frank. Um, I had just gotten into an argument and I was crying. The whole demo, I'm like when I was singing the demo, I was crying the whole fucking time. And uh, when I wrote it, I didn't even write it on a piece of paper. I never wrote it down or typed it or anything. I literally recorded the whole demo and didn't change a thing about the lyrics. It's very Sam Smith mixed with Megan Trainer, And that's what like I wanted. And the production, you can hear that because like in, in the beginning it has the trumpet sounds and all throughout the trumpet sounds are like coming in and out and the the vocals, the melody, and the harmonies are very Sam Smith-ish, in a sense. So it's very infused with two people that I very respect in the industry and inspired by their kind of funk that they do in their music. Let you go now 